There's so much music I would love to make a part of my show. Unfortunately, someone else owns the rights. Ain't that a bitch? How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Monkey Shine Lab. I am out looking for things, as usual, not for myself, but for a friend who lives all the way across the country because for some odd reason he can't find it. We do these things for each other at times. And, uh... So anyway, I forgot which Fred Meyer I saw, what he wanted, and, and so I'm going to have to go to a few. And I figured it'd take me with me, because what else do you got to do? Come on, it's Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. Like I care. So they had, um, the house music was just cranking. Um, this is for Chris Sheets. Dimachini. Dimachini Veloce. You'll see, it's a little bit of a theme. I found a couple of them. Um, but, you know, tell me this has gone through without telling me this has gone through. You see cars double stacked like that, it usually means there's been somebody that's gone through it all. Um, anyway, found a couple interesting things, but nothing I was gonna purchase on the main line end of things. But, you know, I can't walk past a shipper without looking. And, I mean, it's that blue cardboard. It's, it's the siren song for all of us, you know. Um, but I was here looking for this premium NSX. And, of course, at this first stop, this is not where it was. But um, I decided to look through some stuff anyway. Uh, that's one of Nazar's favorite castings from last year. Um, and they had these um, larger pullbacks, the ones that are actually made of metal. Uh, thank you very much to the Die Castle for giving us an excellent look at all of those. And also for showing me some of those F1 cars. F1 racing is something that I just absolutely adore still to this day. And so it was really cool to see those. I will probably end up uh, looking for a McLaren or maybe, uh, you know, a BMW on that F1 line. I, I Right now I'm out looking for other people. So <laughs> I wasn't really thinking, but... I did see this, the Ferrari from back in the day when race cars had personality. Um, I was going to purchase it here because I figured, well, in case I don't see it at any of the other places, I'll pick it up. But by the time I got out to the registers, um, it looked like it looked like Christmas Eve. I mean, there were so many people standing in line with cases of beer and all this other nonsense for watching the football game today that, you know, of course, I just ended up putting it all back, putting it all back on the peg. But um, maybe we'll see some of those later in the video here. I'm trying to recall. Sometimes I just, I'm out there filming and I'm not even my brain is just not even on. But um, I did take a look around the, the whole place looking for those premiums because sometimes they hang them in weird places. Oh, look, it's another Dimagini Veroce. Um, and also, you know, the four card pickup. How about that? You can tell I'm a pro. <laughs> You know when somebody is holding five, you know, four or five cars by the bubble like that, that they've been doing this a really long time. <laughs> that and the card flips, you know, three by threes, what we used to do, pick up six cars. Uh, but it's been a long time since I've picked up a whole bunch of cards, that's for sure. There were so many shippers at this particular um, 
Fred Meyer. And if you're local, this is the one that's just on the north side of town. Um, not the one on Lancaster, but the other one just on the north side of town. Um, they also had some of these Maisto kits, which um, have always sort of interested me. Maisto is not a brand that a lot of people buy, but, um, you know, I like looking at the off-brand stuff. I like looking at stuff that isn't Hot Wheels. Absolutely blew that off because Stuper Bowl. Everybody's out here and his brother's dog buying shit. I forgot. It's a fucking big deal. Can you tell? I think so. What's going on with my hair? To be clear about the Super Bowl. I don't care. The only thing I ever care about is the season up through division playoff. Who is the top of the division? That is my Packers. That's what I want to know. And that's what I got this year. They got to the playoffs. And they proved that they were, uh, that they had some metal in them. Past that, I don't care. I feel like the Super Bowl is a huge commercial thing. It's like the college bowl games. It's just sort of like, are you going to be invited to play in the big party? It's just a big party. And unfortunately, everybody in the United States of America and beyond feels like on this day, this Super Sunday that we've all got to be fans of the sport and go out and buy, 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 buy trash. <laughs> Let me just take my pants up to my nipples and tell you what I think. All right. Hopefully this is the place where I saw the... Andre wants the NSX from the premium Fast and Furious set. Asked him, was he actually serious about it? He said, yes, he's serious about it. So, because he does so many nice things for me, I'm out here dealing with this Super Bowl Sunday horse crap. <laughs> <coughs> and that's your reminder this week, kids, not to smoke cigarettes. Fred Meyer to check today, and if they don't have that NSX Andre, then I was stupid. Let's go see. Oh boy. Capo Camaros.
Thunder and Thundercats. What the ass? See it, Andre. Do not see it anywhere. I'm gonna get one of these though. <laughs> I feel like somewhat of a failure. It's, it's nothing new. It's been going on for like 50 years, at least. I think I started to realize what a failure I was around about the age of seven. So uh, yeah, I blew it. I blew it, I blew it. I'm gonna have to go out and look for them this week. See if I can find them somewhere in the uh, vicinity. You know, when you see certain pieces of die cast, you just gotta jump on it. You know, you can't leave a treasure hunt hanging and you can't leave, um, you know, you can't leave this stuff behind. Otherwise, somebody else is gonna pick it up instantaneously, it seems. Um, not a big deal, not a big deal. I, I'm sure that Andre's gonna say, like I need another NSX premium. Um, but we can all use one more, let's face it, some of us. Um, I did pick up one piece of die cast though. Um, I was inspired to pick this up from uh, the die castle. Uh, they were they were looking at, uh, looking at this brand and uh, Barago is somebody that I think we just, we need to start paying attention to a little bit when they're making stuff like this, at least in the package. This looks fantastic. Um, I really love racing from the bygone era where car designers were actually throwing some creativity into it and throwing some stuff at the wall to see what sticks. And um, actually that's a really bad analogy for race car drivers. They're not throwing anything at the wall seeing if it sticks. Wow, that was just, just really poorly chosen some people have a way with words and other people well they not have way I guess that's what Steve Martin says all right let's take a look at this really quickly here um, I like I said I was uh, sort of inspired to pick this up because uh, cat over at the die castle has been reviewing some off-brand stuff and I just, I kind of, not off-brand, okay, but uh, stuff that's not always on the collector market, you know what I mean? And that to me is a valued video because anybody can go out and peg hunt, anybody can um, go out there and grab mainline cars or matchbox and say, you know, here it is, but, um, you know, it's the true heroes amongst us who uh, go out and spend their money, they're spending their own money to get an idea of what these cars are like and then telling you whether or not you should spend your money. So uh, keep in mind that most of the time when you're watching somebody on YouTube, they're spending their own money. They're not making any money off of YouTube. I personally, am not monetized yet. Yeah, I said yet. 
You need, you need a lot more subscribers than I have though. So um, first off, the packaging is, is actually kind of neat. There's this little thumb hole and I popped my thumb in the hole and then pulled the, pulled the, the bubble right off the card and out, out came the car itself. Um, which is neat. It's in this little suspensory uh, tray. I'm not big into this kind of plastic. Everybody who's been watching the show knows that this is something I would love to see go away or made with cellulose or something, vegetable cellulose or something. They can, they can make this stuff to be sort of uh, water soluble or whatever. If, if they choose. The problem is, is that if it gets wet in shipment, then it just falls apart. Plastic is plastic for a reason, everybody. But if we could get away with not having quite so much plastic in our die cast world, that'd be great. And Matchbox tried, okay? They really tried with the moving parts, the new packaging. If you haven't seen any of that, I will probably have one of those up pretty soon. Um, the packaging itself, the intention is good, but there's just about as much plastic in the packaging as there ever was, maybe more so. Um, and it also exposes part of the car's paint job to the air and other people touching it endlessly without buying it. And then when you take that car out of the packaging, you're going to notice that's possibly that some of the paint has been rubbed off or lightened or otherwise completely damaged. It's difficult to be a, uh, a collector. Anyway, this, this little tray, <laughs> this, this is what we're talking about here. We're not talking about collecting. You want to, if you want to hear someone pontificate about collecting, go watch one of Nazar's videos. He does it much better than me. <laughs> uh, Okay, there's nothing holding this car into the plastic, so I think we should pop it out. There's no, there's no fingulators on these things. Um, all right, well, out of the packaging, okay, and I, I, what I'll do is I'll just keep my face covered so that you can kind of see this. Out of the packaging, this is a very neat, really neat car. Um, the upper body is the metal. The chassis is plastic. Um, there is absolutely no detail on the bottom whatsoever. Um, but there is a, a nice little peg hole here for, um, for hanging them. And if you do put cars on the wall like Nazar does, that's, that's actually kind of handy. Uh, I would assume that it is a is a key lock for some other function or reason. Um, they do not have any moving parts that I can see, like the the chassis and the you know the there's no there's no opening hood or um, uh, engine compartment on this, but. Um, it's, it is completely finished. It's got its lights. It's got its grill work. Um, it's actually a little chewed up in the front. Oh no, no, no. That's, that is the, that is the, the horse logo right there. You can see. Um, so it's got a nice little, uh, Ferrari horse on the front end of it. Um, this car, I, don't know when it was made, I think in the 60s, like the original model. I'm not talking about the this, you know, this. This was made yesterday. Um, the uh, rear view mirrors are also die cast. They are not, they're a part of the initial mold. They are not um, add-ons. But uh, the, the paintwork, as crazy as the paintwork is, is very clean, very clean. And the, uh, the wheels have a nice spin to them. They sound a little, you know, there's a little of that going on. But, you know, if you really want to do something about that, you can. Okay? There's no reason to avoid a company 
just because there are minor perceptions, especially when holding it. Um, I like a car that feels uh, complete. Um, you know, this, it's, it's got a great cockpit detail in there. Uh, the seat is separate. You've got uh, controls. You've got the steering wheel and everything that's fantastic. Um, and uh, a little bit of detail under the windshield right here. Um, in terms of uh, when you have a, a car that's made like this, if I were to set this in my display next to, say, my uh, GT and other cars of the same scale, I have a couple that are in this size. Um, from a distance, nobody's going to be able to tell that this is uh, Barago. Is it Barago? I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let's let's get this right. <laughs> Barago. Bar Barago. Um, nobody is going to look at this car on your shelf and say, oh, well, that's just really cheap looking. It's not. It looks fantastic. It looks finished. <laughs> and if you set it on a shelf somewhere, if somebody can tell from a distance, oh, that's some cheap ass Chinese garbage you've got there. Find new friends. <laughs> the end appreciation should just be in the image it creates in the in the joy it brings your heart, if I may, Marie Kondo, a little bit. Um, as I said in the video a couple of days ago where I showed some of my larger die cast, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what it cost. Um, you can find stuff out there um, that, that looks amazing and has killer features um but would, well for instance watching one of nazar's reviews of his 164 uh scale cars that have like true jeweler craftsmanship to them i mean this this ferrari i was watching being opened up it comes with a little opener thing so that you don't have to handle it. You actually use this little pick to open the different parts of the car. I think that's just fantastic. I think the detail on that kind of thing is amazing. And Nazar is the kind of enthusiast about automotive stuff that it absolutely makes relentless amounts of sense that he purchase those cars and that he enjoy them. Those of us who have kids, who have grandkids, who have mortgages and other things to pay for, um, we may not we may not have that kind of uh, money to throw at our hobby. So it's kind of about looking around at what will fulfill those empty spots um and i will keep my eye on this barago stuff uh like i said i would probably I, i've been toying with the idea of getting one of the f1 cars for quite a while um i just can't find lewis hamilton's uh livery or i would have done it by now uh, <laughs> that's what i've got for you is the Durago. i i really like that that car that's that is going to be in a position of uh, importance here in the lab now all I got to do is find a clean surface ah the best laid plans of mice and men are off to go astray I will see you again tomorrow, everybody. The hunt for the NSX continues. Take it easy. I'll see you tomorrow.